Well, hello and welcome to another week of The Elegant Life. My name is Erin Kurt, and I am a spiritual teacher who assists women in living and manifesting exquisite, divine-inspired lives for themselves. Now, we've been following on a bit of a series here on how to find your calling and why finding your calling is so important. Well, I wanted to move on now and let you know that, well, you've probably already experienced this, that there's a lot of stuff in life that can come to block everything that would either allow you to do your calling, that, would allow you, that wouldn't allow you to even feel what your calling is, that wouldn't allow you to even gift yourself the opportunity to do what your calling really is. And so, that is the topic of today. How to clear all of that which blocks you from your divinity, your soul's calling, and eventually your soul's purpose, which is to expand this divine light that you are. So, I wanted to share with you a moment in my life when I did not feel connected to my calling. In fact, I didn't feel connected to anything that had to do with spirituality. Now, if you have heard my story and gone along with the making of a spiritual woman, a pilgrimage that began in Paris, you will know that I was getting so connected like I got to a point where I was just glowing. I came back from France and oof, if you haven't seen that whole series, uh, it will be linked below and just go through it. Women have said they've stayed up till three o'clock in the morning watching it. <laughs> it's, it was my life and it was uh, fun at times going through it and not so fun at other times, but uh, it's been very inspirational to a lot of women. So check it out if you haven't seen that. Anyway, how could such a beautiful moment in my life go along and translate to feeling completely and utterly disconnected, disenchanted, totally disbelieving? What was the way out? What was the way forward? How do you even live if you don't feel connected to your soul? and your calling. Well, you do what l women who choose to live elegantly do. I didn't know it at the time, but something within me that had to happen, it's those coincidences again, brought into my life an experience of one of my friends taking a clearing process. And she asked me, would you be open to me doing this on you because I'm training in it and I need some hours. And I said, sure, whatever. That was my mode back then. And when I did it, I had an extremely intense experience where I could not release something that she was trying to get me to release. It was actually a physical non-response. There was some area that had become stuck in me and I couldn't clear it. And so she said, I'd like you to tone to try and release the energy of that. And I was supposed to be going, uh, but instead what I did was, uh, 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 I couldn't do it. I literally, <coughs> could not release that sound. And what that meant was that such energy was trapped around there. Such energy was blocking the light that I had within me, that I was born with, that I came from, that it was completely blocking all my light, my happiness, my joy, my fulfillment, my inner peace, my contentment, my everything, everything. And so she said these words to me, Erin, when you clear that, you will be free. And 
I didn't know how to really do anything else after my session with her. So you're left with like a yearning and a wanting and a, a hope again with no understanding of how to go forward. And what I want you to know is that so many people are at that point right now. It may not be a depression like I was in, but like, you're okay, but there's something missing. There's a yearning inside for something more. You can't feel joy the way you used to feel. You know, someone, I won't mention her name because I don't have permission, but someone wrote me something that was so beautiful. She said, I have a yearning to be happy the way I was when I was a child. And I want to come back home to that. And that's what it's all about. This is home. That feeling is home. It is your divinity of where we all came from. That consciousness, that godly feeling connectedness that maybe at one point in your life you did feel or you didn't. But you felt joy before and you felt extreme happiness at times and you felt love before. That's what this is. But there are things blocking it. So what do you do? Okay. Well, I want to explain to you how I went forward. Now, a lot of beautiful things happened to me after that. A, I won't go into the whole story, but I was asked again by this person to go on a six day spiritual retreat where we would be doing a lot of that clearing, not just one session. And I said, yes. And on one day, when I felt extremely low again, I had the moment of my life that forever, forever changed my life. What I experienced was a moment of becoming in union, in oneness with consciousness. My body dissolved and I became at one with the all. It was magnificent and what I experienced was a knowingness that a yep 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 this consciousness this God this universal source energy oh yes it exists and this was not the relaxed, beautiful state you get when you do a really good meditation. This was 5D. This was full experiential. This was a knowingness. So I know that it exists. Everything that everybody has ever talked about, about this energy exists. But the second thing was that I knew that I was Part of it. And after this, I was downloaded so many truths about how the universe works, how life works, why we're here, what we're supposed to be doing and how we can do it and how we can manifest things and how this is like actually heaven. Heaven is earth. A lot of people think uh, earth is hell. No, this is actually heaven. If we allow ourselves to experience it from our divine self because the beautiful gifts that we are able to experience in this physical beingness is magical you feel like you're living in a dream and what you want you can have and actually you actually manage to have it better than you even thought you could have it that just started to happen to me like this, like this, like this, and one thing after the other. Nothing has been the same. No hard work required. No struggle. No feeling jealous of anybody. No feeling in competition with anybody. Nothing but oneness and unity and joy and beauty and being able to manifest what I desire and having it come to me even better and greater than I in my physicalness could even imagine. 
pretty good. Something else happened on that spiritual retreat that I will share with ladies a little bit later. Now is not the time. But I was told last year that the elegant life needed to expand now. And I was told what it needed to be last year. It needed to be a spiritual retreat. It needed to be something where women could actually get away and be able to come back home to that exquisite energy, divine consciousness that they really are. But not just that, to bring with it that beingness of physicalness because we are that energy but we are here now resonating in a physical form okay the beingness of us in our physical form is going to allow the expansion of this consciousness that's why we're here and so I want you to understand what your calling is so that you are able to live out this experience fulfill your purpose of expanding this consciousness and at the same time having the blast of your life being able to live this life to a degree where it feels like a dream that is what i say the elegant life is about it's about living and manifesting an exquisite life for your self in a divine inspired way. So I have been called to create this retreat. Now I was guided as to where it needed to be. And this summer I went to this location and I didn't tell anybody where it was and I tested it out and I found the perfect location. The beauty of it, I will share with you after it is gorgeous the story of how this all came to be and how the perfect place was found I want to share with you something that after I went through everything and I did the last day exactly what you will do if you so choose to come on this experience I got home no sorry I got back to the hotel and I want to play a little video that I took that just was a gift from the universe that told me, Aaron, this is it. This is it. Karma. Yes, I'm just wanting to capture this moment where he's speaking. I know it, he, no one can understand, but for me, <laughs> for me, it's just very special that he's solidifying everything I knew. Wow. And then this is a popularity reaching a, a big crowd, basically. Uh, so you have the soul, uh, you have the hidden talent, uh, secret knowledge, secret knowledge. You know, uh, reaching and establishing balance in your practical life mm -hmm. and teaching again as a person so you are a teacher and he, uh, reaching a uh, big crowd and, and uh, ritka állás, this is a very rare there's a very rare uh, situation, situation like usually I feel like you don't get it uh, too often basically each, each seven person állás, out of hundred has it Wow. He has the same. Look, uh, even, even less, I think, because you can have a, um, one triangle, but she has double one. She has double one. She has double one. Okay. Ritka. It's very ritka when you have double uh, triangle. It's very rare. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll see you back here next week with more details about this and more Elegant Life teachings. Find your calling, ladies. Clear what blocks you because life's about to get really, really beautiful. See you next week.